Hello everybody. This is Dr. Ayaz Samu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are doing a video series on human physiology. In this video playlist, we are learning about digestive system. In our previous video videos, we have discussed overview of GIT and the layers of gastrointestinal tract. In this video, we would be learning about enteric nervous system. So, all of you are must be familiar about our central nervous system uh, can be divided into uh, peripheral nervous system and our peripheral nervous system is composed of uh, motor nervous system and sensory nervous system and our motor nervous system is can be divided into somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system and our autonomic nervous system can be divided into sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system so sympathetic nervous system helps us during the emergencies for example if you are walking on the on the street and suddenly a dog dog barks at you and you try to bite you you will run and for running you would need extra energy and effort and your breathing rates goes up and your blood pressure rate go up so this is function which is maintained by the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system actually helps you to rest and digest and promotes housekeeping normal functions of the of the body so um, <coughs> So I'm sorry for this mess. Uh, so, uh, so parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system um, uh, are very important for the body. So the purpose of uh, giving this uh, neuromuscular junctions uh, figure is to is to aware you about how this uh, autonomic nervous system, parasympathetic nervous system, or sympathetic nervous system works. So there's a you know that there is a neurotransmitters for example acetylcholine or p substance or there are other neurotransmitters so they are released by neurons so this is a neurotransmitter and it is released by the so this is the axonal terminal of the of the of the neuron so this is a neuron and it releases a neurotransmitter and a neuro, when a neurotransmitter is released it needs a receptor to attach so this receptor neurotransmitter can bind with any muscle or can bind with any gland for example smooth muscle cell or gland for example any endocrine gland so uh, this neurotransmitter actually provides a, a, a excitatory or inhibitory kind of function to, to perform right okay so uh, we know that our gastric uh, gastrointestinal um, tract is made up of um, mucosa this is mucosa first second is submucosa third is muscularis and fourth is serosa so in the second layer the mucosa there is a uh, uh, plexus there is a neural plexus you will you so this is in the, the neural plexus so this plex which is located in submucosal submucosa is called submucosal plexus and it is also known as Meissner plex and in third layer so muscularis there is also you can find a um, neural plex this is called myantic plex so and this is also called plex of Arbach. So the first layer mucosa and serosa do not contain the nervous um, neural plexus, but the mucosa, submucosa, and muscularis contains the neural plexus, right? So these neural plexus, um, uh, so the enteric nervous system. So this they are comprised both. Let's say we called it enteric nervous system, and we it is also called the second brain. So myantic plugs which is also called the Auerbach plugs 
it controls the digestive tract motility so motility it means the movement and movement has to do with the contraction or relaxation and the submucosal plexus which is also called mesenteric plexus uh, they helps in local secretion absorption and the local muscle movement so if we enlarge the submucosa and musculars to view the 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 view the plexus neural plexus it will look like this so this is oral this is our mouth and in our mouth we eat a burger and it directly goes to the digestive tract and uh, the waste products will excrete it out from the ab oral tract like anus from the anus okay so when this this burger comes in the contact with the gid tract so uh, the first contact neural plugs which is submucosal plexus it helps to do the local secretion and absorption and the local movement so in order to do this uh, local secretion or secret certain enzymes secret certain hormones for that which is uh, which are helpful for the digestion of this hamburger which is made up of maybe carbohydrate maybe proteins maybe all of them minerals or vitamins whatever so the submucosal plexus they contract and they also relax so when they contract this function is performed by two excitatory um, uh, neurotransmitters acetylcholine and p substance and for relaxation they secrete a nitric oxide and vip so these neurons these neurons secrete the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and substance p for the contraction of the smooth muscle and for the relaxation of the smooth muscles these neurons um, secret nitric oxide and vaso intestinal peptide so and same is with also the myentric this is the mucosal submucosal plexus and this is the um, myentric plex so this is the ascending neuron network of the neurons this is descending network of the neurons so if the myentric plexus the longitudinal or circular muscles want to be uh, contracted they release acetylcholine and substance p if they want to relax their substances um, nit this release nitric oxide and vip so this is the main function and in addition to that these pluxes are also connected with our um, with our sensory nervous system and uh, which is uh, which is motor nervous system it's a para uh, sympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system so um, they also uh, helps uh, in the digestive processes for example our parasympathetic nervous system so these are the the networking which joins our parasympathetic nervous system to the to the uh, to the to the to the uh, what's called uh, to the the muscular so this muscular is called uh, myentic plex so myentic plexus so parasympathetic nervous system helps in the rest and digestion and they increase the peristalsis they increase the blood flow and they increase the absorption and they also increase the secretion and sympathetic nervous system which helps in fight or flight they decrease the peristalsis decrease the blood flow decrease the absorption and decrease the secretion so this is very important and this myentric plugs and the submucosal plexus have a kind of interconnectivity or interneurons which contain which connects the neuron of myentric plex and submucosal plex and they also have these sensory neurons chemoreceptors and mechanoreceptors and sensory neurons they detect certain stimuli in the lumen for example if food goes if a burger or pizza or whatever goes into your git the sensory receptor neurons will 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 detect it and chemoreceptors like they also detect certain chemicals um, which are present in your food for example if uh, the uh, the smell of the food also secret certain uh, slavia or mucus uh, in your mouth or in your 
the IT. So this is the mechanoreceptors and mechanoreceptors when uh, food, when you eat the food and your food is, your stomach is full of the food, the wall stretch, this stretching is detected by the these mechanoreceptors. So this was all about the um, enteric nervous system. If you like our video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends and please do not uh, forget to hit the bell icon because when I upload a new video, you will be uh, automatically know that uh, this is the new video and thank you so much.